Hey there StarCraft fans, my name is Sixbit, and I am back again with another StarCraft 2 video. Today I'll be talking about a different Zerg larva injection method. This time it's the 55V, 66V, 77V method. Now when you first see somebody talking about a method like this, it doesn't it's not easy to understand exactly what they're talking about just because the name of it is so long and it's a bunch of numbers and letters. However, the name does make sense. Uh, where the name comes from is that you have one queen hotkeyed on five, one queen hotkeyed on six, one, keyed hot, one queen hotkeyed on seven, and if you had more queens you'd hotkey them further up in numbers. Uh, but the basic method is that when you double tap each, hot, or each control group, for example if I double tap five, it takes the camera zooms right to this location. Now if I double tap six, it zooms to the next location. If I double tap seven, it zooms to this queen's location. Now it's pretty straightforward from here. This is a pretty easy way to go from one base to the next and inject your larva. So basically what you do, you double tap. In this case we're going to go five five, then you press V, and then you click here. Double tap six, press V, click here. Double tap seven, press V, click on your base. Now, the cons of this method compared to the other method that I went over, the backspace method, are that it's a lot easier to miss your clicks because when you go 5-5, five, five, all of a sudden if your queen's on this side and you press V, then you have to bring your mouse cursor over to the uh, down and right. If you go to 6, then you have to bring it up and left. Then when you go to 7, you have to bring it down to left. So if you're clicking in the middle every time, you're going to miss all your clicks, which... Uh, you know, is not good for your macro. So if you can be precise and fast with your mouse and have a steady hand and go 55V, five, 66V, five, 77V, seven, seven then you can do it. But it's really easy to misclick and accidentally click on a drone or something else by your base, which is uh, one of the cons to this method. Now a lot of uh, pros actually do use this method excuse me, Idra for example um, is a well-known pro Zerg player that does this uses this method to inject his larva. So I think I pretty much covered everything in this video um, you can do this fairly fast I'll show you again 55V, five, 66V, five, 77V six, six, seven, seven I don't think it's quite as fast as the backspace method but if you have a steady hand it can be more accurate uh, and so for that reason, that's why some people might choose this method over the backspace method. If you haven't seen my backspace method video, you should definitely go check it out. I'll throw a link in the description or on the screen somewhere. But definitely go check that out. Um, that's the method that I use, and it's what I personally think uh, is the best, mo just because it's the fastest. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a thing or two. And uh, hopefully you guys will win all of your StarCraft games now with this great new Zerg injection method. Anyway guys, as always, take it easy.